Hey everyone, it's Alyssa the Recipe Critic and we are busting out the air fryer to make the best tender and juicy chicken. There is just something magical about the air fryer that cooks the chicken golden crispy on the outside and super tender and juicy on the inside. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. The first thing we're gonna do is brine our chicken. It's completely optional, but I highly recommend it because it just adds so much flavor to the chicken. Fill a bowl with four cups of lukewarm water. Add a fourth a cup of salt and stir until it's dissolved. This may seem like a lot of salt, but lucky for us, only a small amount is actually absorbed. Next, we're gonna add our chicken to the bowl and cover it. You're gonna wanna let this sit in the fridge for one to six hours. And again, this is completely optional. If you're in a hurry, you can still just throw your chicken in as is and you will still get an amazing result. Once our chicken is done brining, we're gonna remove and pat dry with a paper towel. The reason why we brine our chicken is because it results in a more flavorful dish and it's able to hold on to the moisture. Then next, we're gonna open up our air fryer. Next, we're gonna place our chicken in the basket and you don't want them to touch so they cook more evenly. Next, we're gonna brush each side of the chicken with some olive oil and this helps to get it crispy and the seasonings to stick. Next, we're gonna make our rub which includes garlic powder, Italian seasoning, paprika, and lastly, salt and pepper to taste. This is my favorite spice blend, but you can also mix it up by using Mexican spices, Indian spices, or even barbecue. We're gonna take the spices and we're gonna rub it on each side of the chicken, and don't be shy because you want the chicken to be fully covered. Next, we're gonna close the air fryer. We're gonna set our temperature to 360 and cook for nine minutes. While our chicken is cooking, I'm gonna make this a full meal by getting some Brussels sprouts ready to be cooked in there as well. I'm gonna use one to two cups of Brussels sprouts, but you may use more or less depending on your size of air fryer. Then depending on your size of Brussels sprouts, you're gonna cut them in half or maybe even fourths. Next, I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil and give it a good toss. Next, I'm gonna add in some salt and pepper. And my secret ingredient, Parmesan cheese. Once your timer goes off, we're gonna open up the air fryer. Next, we're gonna flip our chicken. Next, we're gonna add in our Brussels sprouts in the empty spaces around the chicken. Next, we're gonna add our basket back to the air fryer. Depending on the size of your chicken and your air fryer, you're gonna cook it for an additional 10 minutes or until it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees. The final step is the hardest. Once the timer goes off, now we're gonna open up the air fryer. We're gonna plate our chicken and Brussels sprouts and you're gonna let it rest for at least five minutes before you cut into it. This allows the chicken to reabsorb the juices instead of spilling onto your plate. And that's just how easy it is to cook tender and juicy air fryer chicken. For this recipe and many more air fryer recipes, visit therecipecritic.com.